Good morning world, how are we doing? My name is Pete Obsolete, welcome to the Paint Repeat studio. How are we doing everyone? It is Thursday today, so today is portrait day. Um, for the past couple of weeks, I've been asking the audience of the Paint With Pete sessions to suggest some celebrities for us to draw uh, together. The way we do that, every Thursday, we go through our structure of the face on one of the sheets. We choose a celebrity, I might do that early as well, just so we all know who we're drawing. I've got my sorting hat on. And then we apply a similar structure from our basic front facing face to a celebrity's face. Uh, I want to say thank you to everybody who's been getting involved in the sessions recently, uh, especially Ethan and Harry, Mr. Ed Hampson, Mr. and Mrs. Barton, MK Mountain Fitness, uh, who else? Reverend Austin, shouts to everybody watching, especially shouts to Mr. Callum, and I think it's Emma Stone. Uh, thank you for sending um, some amazing complimentary words uh, from Callum and his mum, um, to myself and my, my brother as well. Uh, very much appreciated. And I would love to be your art teacher. <laughs> so, uh, let's choose a celebrity. That's what the game is today. Uh, we fill an hour of creativity, and on Thursdays, we choose a celebrity. Uh, take a couple of minutes, it's just knocked over from uh, 10 o'clock. So, I'm going to get my sorting hat on, take my pencil out. Um, I've written all the names down in uh, from the suggestions. We've had quite a few. Um, so, we've had, I mean, from previous weeks, uh, well, We've had loads of suggestions, amazing. We had Kanye, Tarantino, Maiden Hughes, shouts to Man Cub and the, and the Wolfpack for suggesting himself. Um, we've had uh, Jim Carrey and uh, MF Doom as well. Uh, we have drawn a couple of them already. We drew a certain ex-president in the very first week. Um, R.I. Impeach, uh, Donald Trump. So we drew Donald Trump as a big balloon. Last week uh, we drew uh, Jim Carrey, but we did it a little bit weird, so we called him Grim Carrey. Uh, sorry, two weeks ago. Um, last week we drew our MF Doom face. Uh, amazing suggestion, RIP Doom. Um, so he, at the moment, Doom is looking like this. If you missed it yesterday, uh, we added some, well, no, Tuesday, we added some colour. So we added some gold. I went in with a, a bit of a dry brush. So it's kind of scratchy, but again, I want that kind of battle-worn element in here, and then a really nice, clean silhouette. Um, that will be going up on the shop once he's finished. Uh, so if anyone does, you know, want a, a signed, obsolete original of the MF Doom face, I'm thinking of putting some uh, obsolete tattoos in him and some references to himself as well. Um, so that might, might be done today. It might be done next week. I want to spend a bit of time on this just to get it perfect. Um, R.I.P. Doom. There we are. So that was last week. Who are we going to choose this week? I think I need to uh, um, get my sorting hat on. That's this guy. So I've got all the ones written down. I'm just going to switch hats so I can get my uh, keep warm. A rare sighting of an obsolete head there. Careful. Okay. So I've put all of these in the hat. Rewritten some of the names and stuff. I'll say my good mornings in a second. Let's just sort that out. Okay, we'll get some tunes on as well. Probably for Man Cup. Shouts to the Familia. So there we are, bouncing around in here. Let's get this sorted so I can say hello. If anyone wants to say hello to each other, please do. Good morning, Ethan. Okay, so we've got our names. Good morning, Mr. Callahan. I didn't even look at you. Okay, so we've got our names. I'm just going to randomise and we're going to choose a celebrity. Okay, so look away. Let's have a look. Sorry, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I can't help it. I'm going to randomise. Okay, so we have one. I can't grab him. Today we are drawing Keanu Reeves. Thank you for the suggestions yesterday. Uh, I added Keanu Reeves, Seth Rogen, and Jonah Hill to the stack. But today, lucky dip in the hat is Keanu Reeves. All right, so we're going to draw him. He's going in the bin, so we don't draw him again. Okay, so I've got some pictures. Thank you for the suggestions yesterday. Uh, I've prepped, um, so thank you. So we've got, I mean, yesterday's suggestions, Jonah Hill. Beautiful picture of Seth Rogen. Look at that beard. 
uh, and then the kind of more pineapple express <laughs> kind of face. They're still in the stack. I'm getting a load of pictures together. So any suggestions uh, go into the forthcoming weeks. But, so I've got two pictures today. There's Kanye as well, don't need him today. Keanu Reeves, there we are. So I've got kind of slightly older Keanu and young Keanu. We're gonna use both of these um, as our basis for the faces, uh, basis for the faces. I'm going to blue tack these up so we can see them all the way through. If you do wanna draw Keanu Reeves with me, please do. There's the local cat, um, <laughs> please do. Um, very unique face, beautiful man. Obviously hasn't aged as well. Um, so we're gonna try and keep that um, element in there. Okay, cool. I might draw him a little bit accentuated, so a little bit more of a character, like the Donald Trump piece. Um, but again, let's have some Keanu puns today. If anyone's got any Keanu puns, um, yeah, there's a cat and Keanu. There's a film called Keanu about a cat. There we are, weird. Um, so I just want to make sure that we've got our inspiration up. So we're just going to put him here for now. Again, what an amazing dude. If you don't know about Keanu, and um, if you only know him in, from his films, I mean, he's obviously an amazing actor um, since, you know, way back. Um, he can go here. But the actual stuff he does uh, for charity and just being a good person is amazing. So I'm really glad Keanu went in the stack. Um, you know, there's stories of him just helping people out randomly, um, offering motorbike help and all that sort of stuff and just helping people. Uh, what a good dude, what an amazing actor. So Keanu's there. Um, I've got my two colours ready for my egg face. I'm going to spend about 10 minutes doing that. However, there is a reason why I'm wearing this hoodie. And I have some uh, Valentine's Day cards. Oh, this is exciting. And some water bottles. And obviously some stickers. So tonight, you are in the paint with Pete. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for deciding to get a bit creative. Um, let's just spend an hour just thinking and being creative. Um, but tonight, two uh, paint with Pete's in one day. What a time to be alive. Uh, you're in one now, so 10 to 11, as usual, here. And then eight o'clock till nine o'clock uh, with the amazing guys at Most Wanted. So I've curled up with these guys for a couple of years. I absolutely love them. I've got their big flag up ready. Um, but tonight we're celebrating Valentine's Day. So from eight o'clock till nine, I'll be uh, cracking some Prosecco drawing some Valentine's Day cards and just going through a few ideas of how to create your own Valentine's Day card. I have mine. So these are the obsolete ones. So there'll be kind of versions of these. These come with stickers. Uh, these are all hand drawn. But again, if you're looking for something to do tonight or you want your own Valentine's Day card um, but don't really know how to approach it, hello. Um, grab some pens, grab some paper, um, grab a little bit of wine, they sell them in Tesco's and come up, that's the most wanted. Um, yeah, there we are, uh, and please get involved. We love our audience, uh, I love Most Wanted, I've worked with them um, for a couple of years on camos and bottle ideas and labels and all that sort of stuff. So we are continuing that and celebrating Valentine's Day. If you are one of the lucky ones with, uh, who's got a Valentine's Day card, they were only 50, congratulations, grab some color. Uh, if you haven't um, got one yet, Please follow Most Wanted Wines on Instagram and myself, Pete Obsolete and Obsolete Formats. Give them a shout, they might be able to get you one out. Um, it might be a little bit short notice now. However, again, if you have missed the, uh, the Valentine's Day cards, do not worry. Grab yourself some blank card, some paper, whatever you want to draw on. We're going to get creative later. That's 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock tonight. Please shout about it, share anything. I've put some posts out already. If you want to uh, get some people involved, you know, get a little... Um, team going or whatever. It's all on uh, Instagram TV so you can watch it remotely at home. I will see you later. However, today I'm going to have some water from my most wanted water bottle. Um, so today is portraits. I'm going to use these two colours to show you the structure of the uh, face very basically. I've got a couple here already. There's, oh, there's Grim actually. Oh. Uh, so we've done these over the past couple of weeks. So I'm doing different colours just to just to be fun. There's Pete the Pirate. And there's uh, Curly Perps, his name is. So these are just basic face structure. If you've only got pencils, please imagine that I am using a pencil. I'm going to show you the base line. So the structure of the face in pink. 
uh, and then I'm going to go over it in red. There's the cat again. Um, very distracting. Um, so I'm going to do the basic face in pink and then go over the details in red. So eyes, nose, mouth, creases and face structure. Let's go. Let's get some tunes on. So just going to move my be kind from yesterday. That's a lettering workshop. If you do want to uh, create some lettering or some plaques, name plates, etc., uh, please check out yesterday's show. Um, let's just go. Okay, lovely stuff. So pink, nice and bright. Hopefully you'll be able to see it, keeping the Valentine's Day mode a little bit. So I just want you to draw a massive upside down egg. So nice big egg. Upside down. Oh. Again, imagine that's a pencil. These are just pencil lines. We're just using pen to show everybody, all right? So we've got a rough egg. Go from the middle all the way down. Straight down, divide the egg in half. Half again, across. Regarde, and then halfway down again. And then halfway down again. Okay, E, N, M, eyes, nose, mouth. Eyes, nose, and mouth line. Divide your head into five for your eyes, as you can see on Keanu. One, two, three, four, five. Roughly five eyes width. So if you do four lines, there's five gaps. One, two, three, four, five. Circle those eyes in, guys. So nice round circles just to fill that space. They're your eye sockets. You can touch them. So we're just using what we've got as humans. Use a mirror if you want. You can use a selfie. If needed. I've done this a few times. So uh, we're just going straight in. Divide that eye in half. So we go straight from the middle all the way down. Same again on the other eye. So we've got two kind of plus signs in the eyes. Spruce again. Okay, nose. Again, I'm going to draw a little circle there. That's where the point of our nose is. So we're going to come down and down for the area. Again, some people have wide noses, some people have narrow noses. Doesn't matter right now, we're just drawing. Maybe come down a little bit more actually. I'm going to move that. Just a little bit lower. Okay, and then for the mouth. So your eye line, where your pupils are, is the width of your mouth, roughly. I always say that's a diamond, like a shallow diamond. So you've got that area. The pink is just the areas where we need. I'm going to put some eyebrows in. So you've got your sockets and then your eyebrows sit on top of those. Again, hints towards expression. And then after that, let's do some ears. Ears go from your ear. Oh, no. From your eye line to your nose line, here to here, or sorry, here to here. Lovely. Okay, and then we can, you know, guess a hairstyle, little neck, just in case. And again, I'm just putting these little details in for me. But once we go over those in red, you'll see those come out. Let's stay there. Okay, so details. We've got our basic uh, face structure. It looks like a robot. Obviously, robots are based on us. So uh, that kind of mechanical, almost uh, soulless uh, look is just the, the skeleton, just the bones of our face. Okay, nice big red. Eyes are ovals. So we're going to go oval, oval. Can you see that? Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, so eyes, we're going to put some pupils in. There's some eyes. Nose, we're gonna follow. Ghost line follow, so just hover over that eyebrow line, and then we're gonna follow it down as soon as you hit the eye, straight line, or rough, you know, like a slightly uh, convex line. We've got the, our like, nose here, so on just under the point where we've done our point, we've got nostrils, Right here. Fulcrum. This little bit. And then lips. 
So again, follow that line. I'm going to cut in a little bit for the uh, for the fulcrum. Okay. Spruce constantly loves to fall down. I'm sorry. So this is Spruce Banner. Forgive the interruption. Created the other day. Stay there, mate. Okay, cool. Get more ink in the pen, please. Okay, and then we're going to do some jaws. So jaw and jaw. And then jaw and jaw. Come down to the chin. The width of your mouth uh, sometimes dictates how wide the chin is. So again, just for a bit of human detail, give them a chin. I'm going to get a better pen. Okay, so you've got this little detail here. We can do the head. Um, I think I've just given him a, a, a Lloyd Christmas um, haircut, so like a, in Dumb and Dumber, probably from, um, from our Jim Carrey. So I'm gonna give him a, a, a weird haircut. Ears can go in. Uh, we can do a, a neckline, freestyle neckline. And then we're going to give him some hair. So he's got a nice, a really clean haircut, but let's make it a bit more interesting. Just from jagging up the line on the top. So he's got a kind of a fringe. And again, we've got those expressive eyebrows. We can just move them a little bit if we wanted. And again, added detail. I'll probably go over this in black, you know, just so everyone can see it. And then nose creases again. And a little detail on the jaw. And we have our rough face. Give him a little mullet, why not? I'm gonna go over that in black really, really quickly. Just so we can all see it. I'll move it closer. But again, these colours look really crazy. I don't normally put pink and red together. Um, but simply from the tones, they're really, really nice. Really odd. So there we are. And again, like I did last week, I'm going to put an obsolete signature skull piece over the top. So a single black line. Uh, just so I can show you the origin of the species, as it were. The basic structure of the face. And then where the obsolete kind of uh, freestyle... Um, skull element comes in like a uh, spruce so we are you I, I always use the three or four elements eyes nose mouth the head um, I break the head a little bit so it's the idea of creativity escaping uh, and also I uh, split my head open as a kid so as a little personal reference however let's just go in with an obsolete skull over the top of these it's nice and dry okay so again using that circle using these Areas that we've already given ourselves. The triangles there. Do the other eye. Somebody needs some new black pens. Nostrils. Again, this the mand at the top of the jaw. So you can see where my skull literally evolves from the human face. Here, broken head, and down to the other ear. So leave it. <laughs> So a little bit Batman. Oh wow, everyone's falling off today. Excuse me. More. Okay, so again, we've got this mouth. So I want some lips. I move the lips up a little bit. And then again, just come straight down for the teeth. Okay, uh, christen him. Me obsolete, and then let's just 
radiate them. Okay, cool, there we are. He's missing some eyebrows. So again, I always like to put my eyebrows in. Make them a little bit different. Crying cool. There we are. Lovely. So again, give them a name um, if you wanted to. But again, I just wanted to show you the kind of uh, the near technical, we're not talking super technical here, um, but the rough technicals of uh, the basic structure of the face and obviously where that changes, and uh, certainly with the obsolete hand um, and the obsolete styling of where the skull sits, but they are directly related. Eyes, nose, mouth, accentuate the eyes, accentuate the nose, break them back into, so we put our basic shapes in, circles, triangles, diamond, we then draw them properly, so ovals for the eyes and the details of the face, I then reduce it and uh, take it back to um, just being the shapes. So again, weird circles, a triangle, lip shape, roughly, mouth area. There we are. Anyone come up with a name, please do. Okay, so for the next 10 minutes, I'm gonna just sketch up my Keanu Reeves. This is the face. Um, I'm gonna move my sheet over so it's uh, good for me and comfortable for me to draw on. Um, so we're gonna spend 10 minutes uh, drawing up Keanu. And then obviously the next half an hour or 25 minutes after brew time, we'll get the pens out and start inking him in. Um, he's quite a long face guy. So even though his structure is really good, he's a good looking dude, I really want to pull that shape out. So again, much like the skull, you can probably see from my beard as well, the beard is almost only covering the underside of the jaw. So he's got this kind of, this strange shape that weirdly, doesn't look that similar, doesn't look that um, different to the uh, MF Doom mask. You can see where his jaw comes in and where his beard hair doesn't grow next to his moustache. That is almost the same shape as the Doom mask. Um, obviously the mask is based on the human face. Um, I, th I believe he's using a Gladiator mask uh, from, um, from Gladiator, so Maximus, uh, Maximus's mask. But these kind of extensions are just another part of the human face. So even if it's armor, even if it is mask, it's still referencing the human face, all right? And protecting the, the important bits, cheekbones, eyes, your jaw. Okay, sorry to waffle. Some things will always come up in these sessions. So even, you know, we're just looking at Keanu's face, but there is a reference to the skull, to the mask, to protection, to actually the physical structures of the face as well. Okay, I've never drawn Keanu Reeves before. So this was a really, really good shout. Um, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna extend it a little bit. I'm gonna probably make him a bit more um, elongated, stretch his uh, face out a bit. I did create, a, weirdly, I've just had a memory. Um, I did create a character called the Vamp. Uh, they were kind of young uh, Halloween characters. He's very similar to, uh, to Keanu. So I'm already applying something that I already know, something I've already drawn to something I've never drawn, Mr. Mr. Reeves. So I'm gonna just get these, this face in, very good face. So we're gonna put him here, like we did yes, uh, last week with Mr. Doom. Maybe a bit lower. So, uh, you know, if you've got a picture of Keanu, please draw him with me. If you wanna guess at what he looks like, even better. I love those little creative uh, twists. Um, if you wanna try and copy me, please do. Okay, it's not comfortable there, I'm gonna put him here. Okay, so egg, we get the egg in straight away. Really good face. But we're gonna do a longer egg, just because he's got a kind of a longer face. Small, slight, um, kind of small eyes, so smaller features like the eyes, um, but his nose is actually quite prominent in his face. I mean, I know the nose is quite prominent on everyone's face, but it's a slightly bigger uh, proportion. I'm just going to get a rough, there's our egg, there's our halfway, halfway. He's got really gentle eyes, really kind eyes, um, 
Again, using these kind of descriptive words will help you draw because uh, you're explaining it to yourself and you can actually put that emotion uh, into the drawing. I haven't done that, I have to do that, excuse me. So yeah, and again, I can see that that jaw's coming in here, so I'm just basically editing. He's got really high cheekbones. Okay, so his mouth's a little bit open. Okay, just sketch lines, you probably can't see them. I'll show you in a minute once I've got the basics out. Um, so let's just get that in. So he's got a dead straight nose. And it's actually quite pointy, so we can accentuate, um, accentuate that. Okay. If I go quiet, I'm just concentrating. There we are. Okay. Um, so then he's, he's got his definite jaw here and his tash. Tash is like a perfect V. Lips aren't that flat. Okay, so I'm just uh, putting in um, some of the definite detail, like his moustache, uh, just because it's a fixed, a fairly fixed shape. And I just want to make sure I'm getting those little details in for the hair. There we go, there's his tash. Uh, his beard. Okay, cool. Um, so let's get his drawing so it comes out a bit more so i can see uh just from the second picture that he's got a widow's peak uh which is basically a, a point uh, where his hair grows from uh, just off center so we can put that in and again there's hair Amazing amount of hair. Okay, young K, young Reeves can go up there. Cool, yep, nose is about right, yep, eyes is about right, yep. He's got a kind of a uh, serious, not serious, but a kind of um, neutral eyebrows. Not that hairy either. So again, I'm just putting little marks in where I know I can accentuate and work over. Bra, all the way down. His beard finishes on his nose. Okay, getting there. Um, getting there indeed. Let's get some eyes in. Okay, in his ears, he's got kind of weird ears. <laughs> we all have. Okay, oh, what a great face, what a fantastic choice. Okay, a bit more hair I think, just a little bit, good. His beard's coming down. Again, so I'm drawing a kind of accent accentuated, so like a almost caricature uh, version of Keanu. Just get that. So the hairline and where the hair is is different. So the hair is spiked and gelled up. Okay. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. He's got that kind of cut in here. Okay. Okay, so far, I'm pretty happy with it, actually. Okay, cool. So, I don't know if you can see that, I hope you can. It's exactly brew time. Perfect timing. So we've got eyes, I've drawn the egg. 
he's slightly turned in the picture, so I've drawn him slightly turned. Um, so there we are, eyes, nose, mouth, rough egg sheep. I've accentuated it a little bit, so he's got his kind of uh, his jawline in, and he's a little bit skinnier. And there's some hair as well. Off, just so you can see all of that. Pull it a little bit nearer. There we are. It might go out of focus if it's nearer. I'm sorry. So, Mr. Keanu is ready to ink. Again, I want to think about some of his films, um, some of his kind of uh, characteristics um, in those films. So we can think of Neo, we can think of Point Break, um, Bill and Ted. Uh, what else we got? Loads. I'm trying to think some. The, uh, the Matrix, obviously, for Neo. Uh, yeah, loads of little ideas. So we can use that and customise it a little bit. Um, it's brew time though, so take this, take a, a couple of minutes for yourself. Get some water, get some fresh air, whatever you want, get some fruit. Cheers. Hello, hello. Okay, so, um, yeah, we're in brew time. I just want to take this opportunity to... Uh, Oh, hello. Sprucey getting all over the place. Um, yeah, so yeah, um, I just want to take uh, a minute or two just to reiterate what's happening tonight. So at eight o'clock to nine o'clock over on Most Wanted Wines Instagram. This is a live Instagram TV uh, event show. Uh, we'll be collaborating. So myself and Most Wanted, they do beautiful, beautiful wine. Uh, I've got the flag set up and everything ready. Um, Please give them a shout out. We're going to be drawing from eight o'clock till nine. We're going to be pushing a bit more love. So we're going to be doing um, some heart camo. We're going to be creating our own obsolete or your personal camo heart as well. Uh, we're also going to draw your lobster. So a couple of ideas for Valentine's Day cards. I'll be doing it on uh, big bits of paper. But again, if you can grab yourself some card, heavy paper, um, anything like that, just something to draw on, we can then create two or three different uh, Valentine's Day cards. And again, if you haven't got one of these, sorry, if you have, amazing, uh, very good work, and 10 million points to you. Uh, grab some colors, grab some pens and paper for eight o'clock tonight over on Most Wanted Wines. That's at Most Wanted Wines Instagram. Um, it'll be live at eight o'clock till nine o'clock. Why not join us? Crack a bottle of wine if you wanted. I'm gonna be uh, opening the Prosecco and getting a bit creative. There we are. Two more minutes. Uh, anything left that I want to add to my Keanu? Uh, I think that's about it. Where's Mr. Pencil gone? Seems to have misplaced my pencil. Two seconds, ladies and gents. Luckily, I have many more pencils. Where's he gone? Lost the pencil to room 101, apparently. There we go. It's all good. It's not in my ear, is it? So, just another minute adding to Keanu. I think his, uh, his name means something like strong wind in uh, Hawaiian, I think. Or maybe even in. Um, in Native America in CO. Anyone wants to tell me what Keanu and his name means? That'd be amazing. And also if anyone wants any stickers, please give me a shout. I've got hundreds of these. Um, give me a shout for these. These will go out in every single bit of obsolete merch, print, paintings, originals, pencil cases, whatever. If you want to grab yourself some of these, uh, color them in, stick them up in your world. Give us a shout, amazing. Okay, last couple of lines for Kay. So Mr. Floating Keanu head. Yep, cool. Yep, yep. 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 Yep, 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 yep. Okay. I'm getting ready to draw. I think I've done all my pencil lines for our Keanu Reeves portrait. So
So let's start. I'm going to crack a new pen for this. Wow. Oh, exciting times. So I've got a brand new Posca. So I'm just going to get him going. So we shake. These Poscas are pretty clever pens. Shake it a lot. And then all you have to do is uh, gently press down on the nib and that will ignite the reservoir. So little taps like that. Two seconds. Come on, Mr. Pen. That's just me tapping my pen. Um, so basically the, uh, the bit of foam nib will start drinking in the ink and we get a brand new Posca. Amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna use a flat one and a thin one. So my 5M uh, Posca and my 3M. Uh, five just to get the basic shapes and the structure in. And then uh, the three just for details as well. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's go. Just thinking. Okay, sound. So let's do, I'm going to do eyes first, very important. His eyes, we, I'm going to do the nose line next. So again, following that eyebrow line down. Again, slightly accentuating it, slightly caricatured. Yep. Again, I'm just double checking my pencil lines against the drawing, just in case there's a decision that needs to be made there. There's his nose, we'll get back to the details in a sec. I'm gonna do his bottom lip, or his lips. Okay, and then top lip. That's gonna be covered slightly with his uh, moustache, we'll do that in a second. Good, okay cool, next. Okay, so I'm going to basically put his uh, jawline in. I'm going to draw it in, but obviously, again, that's going to be camouflaged by his beard. It might look a little bit strange to start with. Light. Nice and light. Yep. Yep. Put in a little bit. Again, his beard hair, that's the area for his beard hair. It's not actually his, uh, his face structure. We can put some guest lines. Some rough uh, kind of beard lines in of where his face is going to go from down, and then it kind of goes into that tash. Let's get that tash in now because it's quite defined, definite. Okay, next. Uh, good. Same on the other side, so it kind of comes down like a handlebar moustache. So he's got his little handlebar, and again, just double checking. So there's a kind of link to his chin here, quite wide. It's really thick there, can worry about that in a minute. I'm going to do the uh, eyebrows. So again, just little follow the hair direction. Go back in with the lighter, the thinner pen in a second. So that bit goes up a little bit. 
Oh, chain reaction as well. Anyone name any um, any more Keanu Reeves films that I've forgotten? Um, what else is there? There's another one. I can't remember. Leave it. Absolutely fine. Anyone want to shout any films out? Please do. Featuring Keanu Reeves. Fill those in with a lighter one, a lighter, uh, thinner pen in a second. Okay, I'm just going to get his hairline in as well, so we've got a kind of shape here. Okay, so you can start seeing that jaw come in a touch, just a little bit. And then it kind of links up here. It comes all the way down. Basically doing little swirls with my uh, pen. Facial hair is different to normal hair, so it's not like a straight line. Mine is super curly, as you can probably tell. Um, shouts, <laughs> shouts to Jersey Street. Um, I need to come back to you guys very soon. I can see little curls in uh, Keanu's hair. So just by doing a slightly curve, like a, almost little circles, tiny little circles, it'll give it a natural beard kind of hair detail. Obviously we can fill that in quite heavily once that detail's in. Because we only need the outside uh, inside and outside line of that to uh, have that effect. We can be a bit picky if we want, it's fine. Okay. Okay, so this big comes down. Okay. So a bit more um, scratchy here. Again, we've got that kind of chin line as well. Little circles. Because I have the option of having a fatter pen, I'm just gonna fill that beard in. Again, big circles though, just to keep it a bit brushy. Okay, so not, not really filling it in, just kind of adding to it, all right, using that brush. Let's get the jaw in, or the chin, sorry. Again, we can go back into the details with our thinner brushes, but just so it's there, quite thick here. All right. Okay, uh, link that up, so he's got a tiny link here. Again, just using that brush element, I've got, um, it's, not, it's not a brand new brush, so it's a little bit uh, fluffier. Perfect for our hair detail. And then again, we've got this kind of hair that I'm just gonna roughly get in, so we can see a bit more definition on the face. Yep. So again, growing out, we can sort of follow the root of the hair. Not as wide here. Okay. Using that scratchy, just to get the rough kind of uh, shape of the hair in. You'll see that coming in a second. So just again, being dead scratchy, just double checking my work. Let's get those ears in. Okay. So again, ears just... Uh, so again, I naturally knew that um, his ears, or his nose was a little bit longer. Why? Because the ratio is different on his face. Ears do not come, his ears don't come to the bottom of his nose. He's looking slightly below 
uh, the horizon line a little bit, so there is a weird angle play, but this kind of we've got his ear there. Okay, so again, you can see him kind of uh, beginning to pull into focus a little bit. So let's just get that. I want that brush. I'm using a fat pen, but lightly, so it takes on a whole different uh, technique. Just a bit more brushy again. Okay, so we're going to put his nose creases in. You can see they come from the very top of his nostril. Uh, I'm going to switch my thin pen for that. So let's just come down. Come down. Again, just adding those natural creases in his face. He's got a lot less uh, uh, lines in his face when he was younger, but they add a bit more personality, a bit more character to him. And that's how we add him to our drawing. Got that jaw, a little bit of jaw detail in here. Okay, so again, all we're doing now is kind of finishing those uh, the the hair details, and um, let's just give him a neck while we're here. Yep. Okay. Cool. Next. Just super fast dragging of my medium pen. Again, gives that rough edge, gives that kind of, uh, he's got a bit of salt and pepper in his uh, beard, bit of white hair in his black beard. Most of it is black though. So uh, we can just kind of get the basic shape with our slightly heavier pen, and then go back in with a lighter one. Let's get that hair in. Yep, so he's got um, quite a lot thicker hair. So let's get a little black involved. Bit of depth in the black. Yeah, so it sweeps up. So again, just following that hairline, where the hair is going. If you follow those lines, you'll kind of see each individual hair a little bit because it will hint at where the direction of the hair is being, is going. Okay, and we've got a little fluff here. And it kind of folds back on itself. Yep. Again, from this angle, I just need to check um, some different bits and bobs just to make sure that the hair is kind of falling in the right way. So it looks natural. It's a shadow behind his head, but there is a little bit of hair as well behind his ear. Okay, good.
Okay, last but by certainly no means least is just a little bit more. Beard detail. Okay, um, last but last tiny tiny little bits to go in. Just a little bit of nostril detail. And I think we're nearly there, right? Okay. One eye slightly more open. Yeah. Maybe I got, I think I might have got a bit too excited about this part of his head. Uh, we can sort of put that, shit if I can, there we go. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're nearly there with our with our Johnny Reeves head. I'm just gonna make it make sure it's an obsolete piece. There we go. I'm just going to uh, sign it as well. There we are. Okay, just under eight minutes to go. And ladies and gentlemen, within what was that, half an hour ago, we started uh, pencil lining. Half an hour later, we have our Keanu Reeves head. I know he's tilted. The picture was a little bit. Also, the angle I'm sitting at made it a bit easier. I'm just going to rub his pencil lines out. Oh, Scanner Darkly. Yeah, that's a great shout. Very good work, Lee. Uh, nice one. Yeah, um, absolutely amazing. A scan of Darkly is really, really good. Um, very, very, very dark, very kind of uh, atmospheric. Nose is a bit strange. Okay, cool. There we are. Okay, there's our pencil lines nearly finished as well. Okay. So, where's he gone? So today, very simple in the portrait studio. I love me a portrait day. Uh, I get to go back to one of my favorite, you know, uh, aspects of illustrating and drawing, and that's humans. Um, and actually trying to test myself a little bit with uh, what we've 
Well, with what we're drawing, how we're drawing them, and who they are. There he is. Ah. <laughs> Me and my blue sack. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so all we did today was work on our portraiture. Um, we started with our egg face as usual, get the basic structure in. If you do one of these every day, if you do them every, every week, like I'm doing with these guys, you will have a really nice collection of different faces in different colors, but also you'll be practicing uh, accidentally, right? Accidentally, um, accidentally practicing that face structure. Um, so, I mean, I will, t I will challenge you to not now look at somebody. Once you've locked that into your head, look at someone's face and just go, "Oh, look, their eyes are." Oh, that, that, that's the spacing. Um, if you can do that, making it second nature always helps, and obviously that helps this and helps this as well when you're drawing uh, portraits. So far, just so we all know, just so we can see the collection of portraits. Amazing. Um, all from the audience. I mean, I chose the first one, um, but we had some amazing shouts already in that. So we did uh, this guy. This, uh, I mean, he's technically a, a mammal. Um, there we are, that was the first week. Second week. Where is it? Uh, was Mr. Grimm. Take Trump out. So, second week was Jim Carrey. We blended two pictures, one of Ace Ventura and one of Jim Carrey making a funny face. We called him Grim Carrey. So there's Mr. Grimm. Two seconds. So yeah, sorry, back to Grimm. We did a, a Grim Carrey. A little bit scary carry, call him whatever you want. Last week, we drew up uh, a certain Mr. MF Doom. I want to, I love this drawing, I love the idea, the mask, the structure, the, the fact that uh, the mask itself is designed on the human face and then obviously he's wearing it um, as an alter ego. So the mask is protection in gladiatorial battles. Um, is kind of hiding his personality and protecting himself at the same time. I love that. And then this week, we chose a Mr. Keanu Reeves. There he is. Uh, so he took his face, did the egg shape, and then applied that egg shape, elongated the egg, uh, constant checks against the picture. Um, I really, really enjoyed drawing Keanu. I have never drawn him before. I didn't realize I'd enjoy it as much. Um, but I'm genuinely, I'm actually quite happy with the, the finished piece. It does look a little bit like a younger um, Keanu Reeves with an older Keanu Reeves beard. I am fine with that. Again, we were looking at two pictures. I'm not scared to be okay with letting my brain take over a little bit sometimes. Sometimes not. Sometimes the hand takes over. Um, but because I, I can see a different picture in my head as well as this one, accidentally blending, subconsciously uh, drawing. Okay. He's signed and dated. Um, I'm tempted to scan him um, and maybe uh, straighten him up and stuff but again if you like any of the work that you're seeing here or the techniques and all that please give me a shout my name is Pete Obsolete on Facebook I am Pete Obsolete and Obsolete Formats MCR on Instagram I am Pete Obsolete and Obsolete Formats on YouTube I am Obsolete Formats and over on Twitter I am Pete at Pete Obsolete or at Snob Ross Snob underscore Ross there we are. Okay, the last thing I will say is please join me tonight if you enjoyed this session, if you're new here, if you're a veteran of the Paint With Peace, welcome one and all. Please join us tonight. I will be live on Instagram, so over on Most Wanted Wines. Um, their logo looks like this. It's an MW. You can't miss it. Simple and effective always wins. Most Wanted Wines on Instagram. That is the Paint With Pete Most Wanted collab tonight. We're going to be drawing Valentine's Day cards together. So if you're looking for something to do tonight, or you need uh, a couple of ideas for a couple of hand-drawn, personalised, customised, 
Valentine's Day cards, join me. Eight o'clock till nine o'clock tonight over on Instagram on Most Wanted Wines. That is exactly 11 o'clock. I have been Pete Obsolete. Thank you for joining me in the Paint with Pete studio for Portrait Day. Uh, me and Keanu say goodbye, Keanu. Me and Keanu say goodbye. Bye. Um, stay safe. Stay creative. Have a great afternoon. Peace and love.